In this video, we will be taking a quick walkthrough of Unraid network settings, including how to pass through internet port or ports and configure VLANs. But before we get started, ensure that you have IOMMU enabled in your motherboard BIOS. Ideally, your ethernet port or ports should appear in their own IOMMU groups, hopefully. But if your array is running, we will need to um, stop it so we can um, make changes to the network settings. Now you want to head over to settings and network settings. Usually you will see all your network ports and interfaces listed here. And by default, they will be bonded. You will have to uh, disable bonding on each interface. As you see, I've done here. Each interface has been disabled. It's no longer uh, bonded. Then you apply, hit done, and you should get an indication to restart your server. After restarting your server, you want to head over to Tools, System Devices, scroll down to your Ethernet controller. As you see here, mine has already been selected. Uh, you want to uh, select them. You see here, Ethernet Controller Intel Corporation i350. This board has four of them. After you select the um, ports that you want to pass through, scroll down and select bind selected to BFIO at boot. After that, you will get a, um, another uh, indication to restart. Once you restart, all the um, Ethernet um, ports that you selected will be. Um, will not show up in your internet settings because they're no longer being used by Unraid. And now that you have um, unbinded your ethernet ports, how do you use them? Okay, let me show you. Let me go over to the VM tab. I'm sorry, the array had to be started first. Let me do that. Okay, once the array has started, let's go over to VMs, virtual machines, and let's look at this one, for example. Scroll down. As you can see here, other PCI devices that's now available for pass through. You see all four Ethernet um, gigabit network connection, Ethernet controllers. You see them here, you could just uh, select it, click update, and they will be bonded to this VM. You can um, use this uh, as this VM could directly connect to an Ethernet network. It doesn't have to go through the uh, VM um, network. It go directly through the uh, Ethernet port to your network. Now, real quick, let's talk about VLANs. VLANs are pretty easy to set up. Um, as you see here, it says enable VLANs. All you have to do is click yes. Interface description. Give it a description that you want to give. Uh, for VLAN number, give the um, VLAN number. For this um, VLAN, I've chosen 200. Uh, network protocol is IPv4 only. That's the only thing I'm using on my network right now. Uh, IPv4 address assignment. I clicked it to be automatic. It will automatically um, be assigned at an address from the DHCP server. Or you can go static and choose an address for yourself. Long as you know there's an address available and you know the address through your gateway. Pretty simple, huh? Thank you for watching. Hope you found the information in this video useful. 
If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and share this video with anyone who can benefit. But if I miss something, dislike this video and leave a comment letting me know what I did wrong. I welcome constructive criticism. Also, you can follow me on social medias at Tech Minute.